Hey friends, welcome back. We're here for more Double Trouble Maker, and oh my gosh, we just found out like what's going on with Elias and her family, her brother, and Lola. Oh my god! So let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's go. O M G, my dad is out of jail. J J J J is like in love with me. J J is like in love with me, and Brody is trying to tell me how much he misses me. My life has been come like a movie or something. It's totally crazy. I'm not sure what to do with all these feelings for JJ. But with my dad back, it sounds like we might not have to stop this way at all. After all. No, Jeff. I said the nice China. I thought this was the nice China. Do you ever listen to a thing I say? Of course I do. Then act like it. Hey, Mom. When is Dad getting here? Soon, but you wouldn't be able to tell from the way Jeff is helping. Dinner is almost ready. Fine. Everything okay in here? Yes, Caroline, everything is fine. It would be if Jeff knew how to listen. Okay, well, is there anything, something I can do to help? No one seems to want to help me. Oh, dear. Are you okay? I'm fine. Everything is just fine. Jeff. I should go polish my shoes or something that's as far away from your mom as possible. Hey, Pop, is there anything I can do to help? Nothing helps. <laughs> my dad is cracking under the pressure, isn't he? I say so. I, like, don't know how to feel. I, I know. On one hand, I hate the fact that this is making things so awkward and terrible here. I hate seeing my dad like this. Right. But it looks like we won't have to do anything to stop the wedding. Which means we can be together, without anyone being weird about it. And no one would say th anything if I did this. Yum, careful. But we have to be careful in our best behavior. Oh, no. They can, yeah, they cannot know about us. Otherwise, things will get, get even more out of control. As JJ and I bask into each other's glow, there was someone knocking at the door. That's your dad. Are you ready for this? What? Dinner with my incredibly dysfunctional family? How can I be not? Brody? What are you doing here? I was invited. How is this not possible? Look who I found outside. Can you believe how big Brody has gotten? We're all impressed, Daddy. Why will you do this? Do what? I know I had issues with Jake Cason, but Brody was the one who broke the case. It was nothing. Don't sell yourself short, son. You did an incredibly brave and noble thing. Thank you for saying that, sir. I mean it. Our family owes you a tremendous debt. If there's anything we can do for you, please just ask. I will. Now tell me, who is this young man? Here's Ken. Dad, this is JJ, Jeff's son. Nice to meet you, sir. Charlie Indigo. I suppose you heard about uh, heard a thing or two about me. No, sir. Well, yes, sir. But no need to feel awkward, son. We we find ourselves together under very interesting circumstances. But it could be worse. I mean, you could be dating my daughter. Well, this is all kinds of terrible. Say, Brody, I left a few things in the car. Will you be a pal and go grab them? I can do that. Excellent. And Caroline, why don't you give Brody a hand? Uh, I can help Brody, sir. Nonsense. I need you to show me around the house since you know it so well. Caroline might be better. A better. By the way, this is a place you all moved when I w went to jail. When our dad went to jail, we lost everything. Jeff was our retailer before he was my mom's boyfriend. And I thought my Jeff's sale was small. We used to live in a huge house, but this place with Mom and Carrie and Jeff and JJ, it feels like home. So, what do you say, honey? Can you help me help Brody while JJ gives me a grand tour? Be alone with Brody on a, one on one hand, it would be nice to talk to him again, but on the other, it might be too painful. Well, nah, what bit had Brody should have a problem grabbing what was it? Actually, sweetie, I think I've uh, brought everything in. Never mind. Come on, guys. I bet your mom cooked up something fantastic. <sniffs> oh my god. I'm getting tired. Was Dad trying to get me along with Brody? Nah, I'm being silly. 
For the first time in a very long time, I was uni- reunited with my mom and dad, and my mom's fiance and his son, and my ex boyfriend who I broke up with because he got my former best friend pregnant. This this is has to be the potential to be the worst dinner of my life. I'm, I'm sending I'm sending pick after pick. You I'm gonna get you fired. I know you're always on the night shift, but I can't stand this. Okay, sweetie, that was a what a great stuff. But I didn't get to the good part. You don't gotta go to work, 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 work. Met time. No! It was very nice, honey. Really, Daddy? Yep. I like it too. Really, Jeff? Sure did. We both liked it. But I liked it be- just a little bit more because I've been here and I see how far you've come. And it gets weird. Anyway, come on, Carrie. Go to bed. You know what? I don't know the lyrics that well. You know, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Jen for a wonderful night. Oh, stop it. I mean, in fact, I'd like to give it a toast. So let's raise this sparkling apple juice and I'd like to give a toast too. You don't need to do that. I insist. It's the least I can do to welcome you to my house. Jen's house, but sure. Go ahead. No, you first. It's only fair. Oh no, why don't you? The nice way, the nice uh fighting thing. <laughs> I love Asians do that. Most Asians do it now. Well, no, we have Kelly to decide. She shouldn't have to. Charlie can go first. He's a guest. Does he always tell you what to do, Caroline? What? No, he. I. No, of course not. I was trying to be a gentleman. Sounds like you were trying to tell her what to do. I would never. I'm sure a boy scout like you wouldn't dream of it. I was a boy scout, you know. Don't surprise me. So, Dad, come on. Which are you going? We going to? Obviously, my dad, cause he's my biological dad. I mean, come on. Oh, come on. You don't have to call me if you don't want to. No, like my dad, my actual dad. Thanks, honey. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, Jeff. But bye. I think I had a lot of time to think about things recently, to examine my life and rights and wrongs that I've committed, mostly wrongs. Jeff, sorry. Well, there will always be things that I would change. I wish I could change. But the only thing that stays the same is my family. Caroline, you and Carrie are the blood in my veins and the air in my lungs. Aw, oh, thanks, Daddy. And Jen, I know I haven't made things easy for you, but no matter where life takes me or hap- what happens, I will always be eternally grateful to you for, for the love that you've shown me and the gift of our children. I know you want, you've sat up fight sacrificed so much to keep this family afloat. Now, I, now that I'm out of prison, I would dedicate everything I am to make that up to you, I swear. Oh, Charlie! So, in the spirit of family inference, let's raise our glasses. Cheers! Brody, Jen tells me that you've been, we've joined the football team. I did! JJ plays on the team, too. He's the quarterback. Yes, sir. But he's very good, too. Always scoring the football points and such. You have a, quite an art on you, don't you, Brody? I dabbed it, but I don't think quarterbacks is the spot for me. It pains JJ to say this. Brody does a fine job. So, uh, Jen, we should go see Brody and jo- Jojo play a game soon. It's JJ, Charlie, and yes, that sounds like a lot of fun. How come you didn't want to go with me to games before? Oh, stop being silly. I mean it. I've asked you several to several games. It's not a big deal, but the only time I re- ever really enjoy watching sports is with Charlie. He always he's always making things little comments and things. He he makes it fun. <laughs> oh no, sorry Jeffrey, but yeah, <laughs> my parents are like super buddy buddy right now. So why do I f- kind of feel crummy o- about all of this? Why can't I be mad at Brody, even though I know I should be? Uh, Dad, JJ is a tutor. He's really smart. What's so funny? I heard that you, you're a very popular tutor. What does that mean? Yeah, Brody, what does that mean? I just heard that you have very eager students. What? And why wouldn't you? You're a smart and handsome guy. Well said, Brody. 
He's getting his smarts from me. I'm sure now. Now, Brody, are you seeing anyone? I bet you have a lot of little girlfriends. JJ, he doesn't know. JJ, be nice. Nice about what? Brody? I'm going to be a father. It's not. Me? Oh, no. It's Elias. Elias is pregnant with Brody's baby? We're engaged. I'm going to do the right I'm going to do the right thing for Elias and our baby. I know I should be older, but th this is where my choice has led up, led up, and I'm going to, to man up. That's mighty admirable. Getting someone pregnant is admirable. No, taking responsibility it is. You're committing, committing him for doing something he shouldn't have been doing in the first place. JJ, what are you doing? No, no need to get heated on, son. Don't tell my, tell my kid what to do. I wasn't trying to. Hey, everyone, would you like to see the ultrasound? We're having a boy. Let me see. Let's see. JJ? Hey, where are you going? I just remember. I have to go to the Lola. Lola? Lola? Right now? I need money. I have to work. I can't just marry someone to get my trust fund. Uh, okay, then. But then, like, he's like, Jumped on the stage and yelled something like, I shot the prisoner, but I didn't shoot his deputy, right? Who? That guy who shot the president. Which guy? What are you talking about? I don't know. That's why you're the tutor. What's wrong? Nothing. Tell me why you... What? Tell you what. Since you seem so distracted tonight and I want all your attention, why don't we try make this, this more interesting? For every one question I get wrong, one of us loses some clothing. Then we're both going to be naked soon. That's the point. Come on, JJ. I I'm dying for you to teach me something. I can't. There's someone else. It's Caroline, isn't it? Yes. Don't you see? get how stupid that is? I don't have to explain us to you. Understand? No, you need to understand. It's never going to happen with you two. First, you're like brother and sister. Step brother and sister, and after the super awkward dinner we had tonight, there's no way that wedding is going to happen. Fine, whatever. But the bigger thing is that as long as Brody Casey is around, Carol Caroline will be in love with him. But he's married Elias. They're having a baby. That doesn't matter. Baby or no baby, she'll always be into him. And meanwhile, here I am, trying to get you to notice me, and you don't even care. Lola, I'm sorry, okay? I just don't like you like that. Maybe you could. I don't know. Well, that's why I get for liking a good guy for once, huh? I need a drink. You want anything? I'm fine. She really thinks that Karen would never like me. Why? What the hell does Lola know? What? Why the theater sucks and Abe Lincoln was dumber to go there? She doesn't learn anything. That was mean. I shouldn't have done that. Wait, what the heck is going... Is this paper on the ground? A paternity test? Why would Lola... Oh my god! Brody isn't the baby's father! Oh my gosh, I knew it! Oh, you on your way out, Kaysen? Thought I sneaked out. Did you have fun? Sure, you will have nice parents. All three of them. Jeff is actually a pretty nice guy. He always been cool to me. Maybe you should try to be cool to him. Thanks for the advice, Papa Kaysen. Anytime. Good luck with everything. You're going to be fine. I mean it. Your yeah, brother, you t you take on all the challenges and get what you want. So if you want to take care of this kid, you will. What I want is you. You don't. You have to marry Elias to take care of the baby. I know, but that doesn't make me want stop wanting you. That doesn't turn off my heart off. I don't want you to imagine a world where you're not in my life. I can't be your girlfriend. Not if you're, you've got a wife and baby to go home to. I can't tell you what to do. And honestly, I don't know what is going to happen. I want to, I just want to let you know in my life. Caroline, no matter... I just want you in my life. Caroline, no matter what. I appreciate your honesty, but I don't know if what I can give you for now. You want to be friends? I'd love to. Anything to ha to have you near. Good night, Brody. Good night, love cake. I mean it, Caroline. 
He's not the father. I may use some vodka lemonade if you... Why do you have a paternity test that says Brody isn't the father of Elias' baby? You were digging through my stuff. Who the hell do you... Is it... Is this real? This is stupid. I'm like two seconds away from taking this to Brody and then the cops... If it's real. So tell me what's going on. Brody Casey has ruined everything. You know that, right? He's the reason Callum won't date you. He's the reason I have a terrible reputation at school. He drove Elias crazy. He's the fa- Is he the father of Elias' baby? Tyler is. You did this to Brody? No, Elias' brother Elliot had the idea. It's Callum's ex-boyfriend. Brody had Elliot sent to military school and stole Callum from him, so he found a way to pay him back. Brody marries Elias and her family is set for- And her family is set for life. What more could you possibly want? They want. And what do you get out of this? What else? A cut for helping to facilitate. Brody Kaysen gave me a reputation for being someone that would do terrible things. So consider this a payback. But the child needs to know who his real dad is. Tyler? Tyler is a joke. There's no way he could be a dad. Face it. This is the best way. I can't let you do this. I know Brody hurt you, but that's no excuse to hurt him back. I'm putting to stop a stop to this right now. I have to tell tell Callan the truth. You won't, because if if Brody is free free and clear, then Callan goes back to him, and you're running out. Of, you're out of the running. She won't wouldn't. Of course she would. You got a choice to make, big boy, and you know it. If you tell Callan, she'll be running back to Brody. But if she if you don't, she's all yours. JJ, do the right thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. I catch you guys next time on Double Trouble. We have like what three more chapters, but I gotta wait two hours for and passes back. Even though they they updated and I can watch videos, but I'm too, but I'm too lazy. So, anyways, I catch you guys next time. Goodbye.